Hello. It's really weird until I put my headphones in, earphones in. Uh, doesn't feel like I can talk to you around the microphone without hearing myself and knowing that it's going down there, straight in. Hey. I just chased off two guys down the road. Um, yeah, they, uh, they're spraying chemicals on the pavement outside, on the sidewalk, to uh, kill the weeds uh, with glyphosate. And uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're clueless of, uh, of the danger they're, they're putting themselves and others and dogs and cats and foxes and everybody in by spraying that shit on the floor and on the, uh, the things that we're told are weeds that are actually beautiful plants and uh, hey look at dandelions and look at the research into uh, I think it was a Chinese dandelion root killed 90% of cancer cells in a scientific study um, so yeah there's uh, potential that the dandelion roots can help heal cancers or certain dandelion roots whereas the things that people are spraying dandelions are causing cancer as proven to be truthful and real so YouTube don't ban me for this please uh, through the Monsanto case in America where a guy was using weed killer uh, contracted cancer and took Monsanto the manufacturer of that said cancerous chemical to court won millions or if not billions of pounds hundreds of millions of pounds compensation and um, yeah, they uh, they they gave him the money, and uh, they obviously appealed, but the appeal was thrown out. So we know for a fact that those chemicals they use in weed killers are harmful, and that's a crime because a crime is to cause harm or to cause you know, create serious risk of harm. And uh, yeah, so they're causing actual harm, and. Um, and they don't particularly care for any solution either. Because most of these people that use those weed killers are, are ignorant. Um, however, if you're using those and you're not ignorant, check this. You can use Epsom salts and vinegar and biological washing um, up liquid mixed together in the right quantity, so check it online, and you can make your own ecological uh, weed killer if you want to you know, control those slightly more invasive plants. You just use something that's in harmony with nature, or elbow grease. That's in harmony with nature as well, because these dudes walking around, you know, if they were to actually sweep the ground instead of spraying the ground, a little bit more physical effort, <coughs> it would spray. It would scrape all the uh, little seeds away and keep the the dust away that feeds the seeds and feeds the weeds. And then, if they start to grow on the side of the sidewalk, well, do we just cut them down and keep them trim, or do we scrape it away? You know, because there's some parts of tarmac paths that you know they're underneath pine trees and they get taken over by the moss, and it's it's beautiful. You know, it's like a carpet and. It's just nature showing a, a beautiful way of carpeting that path that has been put there out of disharmonious tarmac. Um, taking that almost back to nature as well. But, you know, that's what we were really missing is that connection to nature. And you challenge these people and they're just like, well, it's a herbicide. So I th feel that <laughs> they don't make the connection between a chemical in that solution that they're spraying to causing harm, even though they're just told it's fine because they've got a per they've got a permit from Birmingham sh Shitty Council, um, they don't make the connection between the chemical and the actual harm they all do at the end of it. And I think by being sold in their mind as a herbicide, it makes it all sound herby. So it's like it's uh, you're spraying herbs around. Well, guys, you're not spraying herbs around. You are spraying chemicals around, and you've got to be aware if that causes cancer. So yeah, I just cleaned it all down with a hose pipe outside ours but and 
and his friend Carl as well. But all I could see was the dogs, with the, with the w how the guy was walking along spraying, and exactly how a dog would walk along sniffing. So, yeah, um, get onto your council, guys, and tell them to stop spraying that shit on the pavement. Pretty please, thank you. So yeah, um, hey ho, that's that. I'm gonna play some music. Oh my god! Oh, if I could screenshot the phone. <laughs> uh, what time is it? Eleven eleven, and twenty two percent on the battery. I'm gonna show you. So yeah, if you're <laughs> that's proper cool, right? If if you haven't ever experienced numerology like that in your life before, well, you have now through the old nutter here. So <laughs> yeah, so that's so cool. Eleven, eleven, eleven plus eleven makes twenty-two. So there's some logical numerology here. Eleven, eleven is the awakening code of consciousness, according to nearly every single spiritual uh, soul uh, that I know of, um, they'll tell you the same thing. And many people I know have seen that number hundreds of times when they uh, first feel they're going through their spiritual awakening or their political awakening or whatever's shook their consciousness up enough for them to uh, snap out of their hypnosis. That was a spell I just cast upon a few people there. Snap out of the hypnosis. So yeah, something will snap them out of the hypnosis. So maybe this video will affect one person. Or another one, or another one, or another one. And those four ones will activate within them. <coughs> a trigger of changing their life through a quantum mechanical shift like a binary code being put into a computer. So a code being put into the quantum computer, the consciousness that's seated in the heart, the soul. And yeah, look at those uh, numbers being programmed in there and that can change the matrix, man. can change the program of that soul path, that soul matrix. And yeah, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. 11, 11, 22%. Perfect numerology. I better make some music. And I'll put drum kit number 33 on because 22 plus 11 makes 33.
get on top of. Thank you.